Alright, hello and welcome to another well, I'm Miami in Unity tutorial. I think this is the 12th, 11th, whatever. Uh, today we are going to be doing uh, making levels of well, the basic ones, not like uh, got not got props or anything in it yet, but it's got like nice looking walls and floors that look better than what it was before. Like, which is this is basically just individual bits. Which probably isn't the best way to do things, so we will. Uh, can I just disable that? Yep, that's gone. Good. Alright, so first things first, uh, I didn't really go over, show, like, leave the thing up just so in case you wanted to read through it on the Play Health code. Is that the one? Yeah, that's what we were doing last time. So I'll just leave this up here, it's all in 1080p so you can read it. So there's the top half of the code, and then the revive part. Uh, and you're probably able to read the rest of it from the other thing, your last episode, because it wasn't that much. It was just a play health that probably needed reading through. <clears throat> All right, so basically, I'm going to show you how to create something like this with the uh, with this. Uh, I'm using not writing code today. It's just uh, an asset store. So it's the Tile Master, a 2D tile set painter by Caliber Mengisk. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, I'm sorry. Uh, it's free, so that's all good. And basically what it does, so you know, I've already, you've got to download it and import it, and you'll probably have to be signed into Unity, the Unity Asset Store. So I'll go to, yeah, it'll appear under Window, CM Tools, Tile Master. And basically what it does, uh, it'll import this, you have this little interface here, and it'll create a folder called Resources in your... Uh, project folder so and, and this is where you put the tile sets now for like a hotline Miami clone style game you are gonna need like something a little different is that glitch though no slightly more glitchy than last time oh well uh yeah basically you need the uh sprite sheet to look something like this so I'm gonna explain why it is like this. So basically, they're 30 by 30 tiles, but you need to, they're actually, well, the actual drawing uh, bit is 30 by 30, but the actual tiles are 32 by 32, because you need to leave a one pixel gap between the edge of the tile and whatever you've actually drawn in the tile. So this helps prevent the problem of having uh, like little lines appear between the sprites, which kind of sucks, but it fixes the problem. I think this is actually glitched slightly because it's slightly offset now from when I did this uh, mock up. Oh well, it, it doesn't matter that much, basically. So, yeah, and yeah, so, and you also need to do it's all the possible combinations of walls. So, you've got on the top of the uh, just so it looks nice and neat and stuff. I'll probably post this on Imgur or somewhere so you can download it and use it as a template to create your own sprites or whatever. So you've got walls, uh, little co outside corner bits, inside corner bits, and these are for like doors or gaps in the walls or whatever. You need to do doors, actually. Hmm. So yeah. Uh, okay, so now I'm just going to go through the thing. So first thing you have is like layers. So basically... You just can name layers by using the rename thing, and the number here refers to the order in the sprite layer. So the walls are on sprite layer 10, so they're above the player, so they won't see the arms over the walls. Now, I must, uh, yep, okay, so this is basically how the Tower Master works. We've got a new layer, which is we're going to rename to floor, and basically we can either just paint normally, like one tile a box at a time or we can box paint just like drag we got a square there say a corridor there and corridor there corridor here and a corridor here all right there so i've got the kind of corridor thing and i'm gonna have to import a load of stuff and i have to make this work because it's not in the testing thing fuck oh well uh, okay, so basically, and then we can, I'm going to create a new layer, add layer, sorry, wrong button, uh, and this is going to be called walls, uh, I 
So that's going to be six. Okay, apparently. Okay, so you see that it draws the walls. I'm, I'm not actually just going to switch to normal painting. So you can see how that's walls, 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 uh, walls, walls, more walls. Uh, yep. Yeah. And you'll see on this like kind of bit, we need the inside corner ones. Here we need them. Here we need them. Uh, here, here. Uh, yeah. Uh, I need these ones. Basically, just use the outside corner bits. And here we go. So I'll just finish off this little bit and show you. So yeah, basically this is the uh, process of making the bloody walls. It is a little glitchy, the uh, tile master thing. One problem I've noticed is that when you sometimes when you close it, it doesn't disable the tile painting, so you'll probably have to reset restart Unity just to you know uh, to uh, what's the word to fix the bug. Well, sometimes it just works by clicking on something like in the asset folder or the inspector or whatnot. But yeah, it is a little glitchy, but it's the best tool I've found so far for doing it automatically. And then we've got a prefab of a wall, which is literally just a uh, a 2D box collider, a rigid body that's kinematic, and a tag wall, which basically is you place these over your walls. So we can make this say nine five that's actually well, probably eleven actually yeah you can just place these over walls and these will basically just say to the enemies when that navigation raycast is hit it'll uh, basically just move and that's it pretty much that's pretty much it that is the essence of creating them uh, I know it looks a bit ugly here but it, I trust me this works and I'll just go and show you the this thing I don't want to say that that's just a so this is the one I made earlier, which is a bit glitchy, but whatever. And you can see, boop, dead. Probably wasn't a good idea to have them made white. Or have tiles. Oh, fuck, yeah. So basically you can see, he turns on the wall. He turns on the wall, and what I've got on it. Uh, I've just put the wall containers in, like, a parent game object. It doesn't, like, change how they work. But it just keeps everything nice and tidy in the inspector, and they're all in one place for reference. So you can see, they find the wall, uh, find the wall, find the wall, and I'll just keep saying find the wall because they're hitting it and they just rotate and stuff. And then let's have a go, shall we? Boop, boop, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead, bro. One more, yep. Look at me, I can kill people. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much just a basic guide to level creation. Uh, if you do have a problem of like the sprite layer, because I know sometimes I it'll put them on the wrong one, like that's walls, like sometimes it just goes to, well, I've got them wrong, or whatever. That'll then just, you can change it manually on this like list of tiles, you know. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, again, it's Tile Master, a 2D tile set painter in the Unity Asset Store. It's free, it's good. A little glitchy, but hopefully they'll have some kind of bug fix. And they have a tutorial video to explain how to work the program, which is better than mine. Pretty much. And yeah. So. That's pretty much it. Uh, here's a picture of the sprite sheet again. Remember, one pixel gap just to avoid having lines in between your sprites, which looks ugly. And yeah, go play loud or quiet. Links in the description. Like, comment, subscribe, all that shit. Cheers. Bye.